Irma's is an offshore company, so traditionally we work from early April till the end of September. And then we go out of the seas and we shelter. We have the Sleipnir and the Tiolf. The Sleipnir is the biggest uh, heavy lifting crane vessel in the world. For the last 40 years plus, we've been coming back with vessels to the Kalant Canal. While we are there, to be able to work on the vessels, we burn fuel to generate electricity. And that's how we sort of combined the idea of let's have shore power uh, so that we don't need to burn fuel anymore and we still can do our maintenance and repair and we can still prep for our projects. Sounds very easy from a board decision maybe, but really getting it executing uh, and getting it done is, is a different story. It was not always straightforward and very easy. And maybe in projects like these, which where you are a front runner, they can't be easy because everything is new. Everybody thinks, yeah, but... And you have to get over that and keep pushing. And we've done it with subcontractors, with our own people, but also on the side of Eneco, there's been a, an enormous effort. They had to pull, put in a substation, they had to build and design the substation, also cabling that up. We don't store the electricity in a battery pack and then use it on board of the vessel. We pull the electricity straight from windmills, which are generating the electricity. The challenge is connecting the two huge vessels, which need 10 megawatts each, into one system, making sure that we can supply the electricity from the wind farm connected through a thick cable to a transformer house and the transformer house to the ship and making sure it all functions at the same time. The work on board of the vessels was enormous. So uh, that's all done uh, by our own crew. The support from this office is the engineers, the project uh, management on it, is fantastic. We believe that Port of Rotterdam can, can greatly benefit of this because uh, we've proven that it, is, that it works, uh, that it is doable. They've turned around to uh, be extremely supportive and enthusiastic about this because they see it also as an enabler for Rotterdam to you know, stay the largest harbour of the world. So the success of this project to the port and the environment has perspective of a better climate, a reduction of 15,000 tonnes of CO2. There's a perspective of a reduction in sound for the environment. But there's also a perspective of more innovation. There's a perspective of addressing the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I think it's important to understand that we need to change. And, and to contribute gives you a positive feeling. And not just as the CEO of Herema, but as a person it, it gives you a positive feeling. Every year about 30,000 ships visit Rotterdam. Most of them still use a diesel generator. And the diesel generators uh, pollute the air and also create uh, noise nuisance for the people who live around the port. And shore power can be a solution for that. This is a unique project. I think it's a great example globally what we can achieve. We're exploring new avenues and for that you need coalitions of the willing and we found those in these two valuable partners. Rotterdam has very high ambitions if it comes to the energy transition. Uh, we uh, feel responsible to fight the climate change on the local level. 
I'm particularly proud of the position Hirama and its partners took in this uh, shore power project. It took them a whole lot of time and effort to accomplish, but it's a great example for the rest of the maritime industry to follow. You put people together, you give them maybe an impossible challenge, and they solve the puzzle and make it work. Those people doing that makes me enormously proud.